so my solar saga continues and as you can see here hopefully uh, I'm getting about 110 watts so since my last video I have added a second anchor PS200 solar panel and um, this is kind of my setup here let me walk around to the front so you can kind of see it all right so this is kind of the setup here as you can see I've got the top one on a set of chairs which gets it a little bit higher so it's not always in the shadow of the railing there are times of the day where there's no shadow on the top set and then I have another one just um, below it right there um, so these are each 200 watt solar panels and you know in this setup this is probably the best that I can hope for you know about a hundred maybe up to 200 watts total but certainly not the full 400 watts and you know that's just because of my setup here with the railing um, but I'm pretty happy with this setup the other thing is I did try as I mentioned before a one 400 watt panel by anchor the PS 400 and that's a good panel but the problem is it's quite heavy it's like 35 pounds so it's kind of tough to move around and set up and tear down you know every time you lift it it's almost like you know give yourself a hernia or something like that I mean it's not that bad but it is definitely fiddly you know like when you set it up and you're trying to stand it up and put the stands up on that one it's just it kind of flops over and can fall over easily so I kind of prefer two 200 watt panels versus one 400 watt panel although that is kind of personal preference but I think that in this setup the top panel has more chance of getting less shade throughout the day um, than with one single panel that would always be kind of behind here uh, if that makes any sense uh, the 400 watt panel is too big to put on the chairs it would just kind of topple over I think it'd be too hop top heavy so that's just sort of my thinking there the other thing is these are easier to take with you so if I ever want to go somewhere you know um, I can take these with me um, you know if I want to camp or whatever and um, it's easier to take with me and put in a car and stuff like that so um, that's just sort of my thinking now the other thing about this is I can also angle this if I want to um, I just happen to have these chairs here they're kind of like outdoor I don't know what you call them, bistro chairs or something like that. But with these slats, it, the solar panel fits right ni nicely into these slats. And if I wanted to angle the solar panel, like I can actually angle this forward or back just by lifting this and putting it in another slot. You know, kind of lift it like that and just move it forward. And it, I won't do it now, but you know, I can put it in this slot here to get more of a flat angle. Or if I want to move it more vertically, I can also do that and just put it in a different slat there. So that kind of just happened to work out really well. Now you saw my prior video of the Renogy 400 watt uh, sort of more rigid suitcase solar panel. That's a really nice form factor but I have found in this setup here it didn't work well for me because it did not have an adjustable angle. And because I'm in an enclosure here, you know, I don't have full access to the sun and the sky, I do need to be able to tilt the solar panels, at least this top one, more vertical so when the sun is low in the sky you know like about there it's shining direct more direct so in this setup i didn't want the you know renergy one because you couldn't adjust the uh angle and i found that that makes a huge difference it'd be literally the difference between like 20 watts and like 80 watts on um, just on the angle so what i like to do at least with this top one in this setup is uh, in the early morning I have it more angled vertically and also in the evenings I have it more angled vertically but then in the middle of the day I have it a little bit more horizontal and it just gets more energy from the sun and gets more wattage that way. A couple of commenters have also mentioned that it would be better to install solar panels on the outside of this railing here like get some kind of hooks hook mounts and just hang them over here and I totally agree I mean to be able to get on the other side of this railing would be ideal my problem here is the HOA the association doesn't allow me to hang anything on here because they're probably worried not only about looks but also about things falling down to the people below and I can understand that uh, so they have a rule against that if I wanted to I could hang something up here there's no rule against that so I could put I could put hooks here and hang solar panels here and they would also get unobstructed sun um, but it would be more vertical but I kind of don't want to do that because it looks kind of ugly and it kind of destroys this whole view here out the uh, balcony uh, and also light into the room as well but you know that is certainly a possibility I saw one person on YouTube did do that and he has like a whole pulley system attached here in the eaves 
and then he can actually adjust the angle of solar angle solar panels that he has just sitting here just sort of mounted on ropes and um, bungee cords and stuff like that and um, you know i'm sure he's getting really good sun power out of that setup but to me it's just kind of ugly and this is more stealth um, the other thing is i'm not charging every single day so this is something that's easy for me to take down and store you know because these solar panels are foldable so i can just easily store them away and then i have access to my my balcony here um, with no problem another person wanted to see the back of these solar panels this is the latest newer generation of the anchor uh, solar panels again this is the model ps200 so let me see if i can show you the back here this is kind of what it looks like they're a little bit more rugged than the prior model in that they have rivets here that go all the way through so this can't really fall off before uh, i think the prior model was just glued on and i've seen some pro some uh, reports of the stands kind of coming off but this is riveted all the way through so that's kind of what it looks like there on the back and then you can see the uh, mc4 connectors there and then that's how the legs kind of adjust you have this snap system here where when you want to adjust the height of it or the the you know how, mu how much this can tilt you just unsnap this like that and then you can snap it to a different level and then you have more of a you know steep angle there um, so you can adjust it from the back like that and then and then tilt it back how you want and also with this particular setup you notice this panel is not shading this panel very much uh, maybe a little bit just here on the bottom but but you know it's not too bad and it, of course that depends on the angle of the sun but with this setup both panels of course combine their power you know this one is certainly the bottom one has more shade on it because of the railing throughout the day than this one but um, you know it's a parallel setup so they combine their power and then you know it combines the power between the the two solar panels to give you your overall wattage so i could play with the angles a little bit more and tweak it directly more to the sun you know if i want as the sun goes out i could probably take this back panel and make it a little bit more vertical um, and get a few more watts that way but in general you know i'm pretty happy with uh, with this setup and again i do recognize that this is not an ideal setup for uh, uh, ultimate um, solar sun gathering given the fact that i'm on a balcony with an awning so i don't have full access to the sky i've got the railing here which is pretty much constant you know shading and uh, you know it's just not 100 percent ideal so you have to recognize that as a limitation that I have to work with here. So yeah, I have two 200 watt panels, which should ideally in an ideal situation give close to 400 watts, right? But even in an ideal situation, the solar panels only give maybe at max like 85% of what they're rated for. But in this setup, again, with these limitations, I can probably only expect to get maybe 100 to maximum, maybe 150, rarely maybe 200. Uh, with this setup so thanks for watching this video again this has been my look of the anchor ps200 solar panels and uh, again these weigh only about 16 pounds so you know they're relatively easy to handle and carry and fold up and store uh, which i kind of like about them and any questions or comments please feel free to leave them and i will see you in my next video